Amanda, I'm 38 and I started coming to Magnolia because basically I was tired of being tired. Um, no matter what I did, I was exhausted all the time. Um, something as basic as cleaning the kitchen would wear me out for the day. Um, and that was the only thing I would do. I spent a ton of time on the couch, um, didn't clean my house a whole lot, got, get teased a lot about my house not being cleaned a lot, but I was always exhausted. Um, I got into several doctors who'd run my blood work many times, told me there was nothing wrong with me. I spent seven years trying to get pregnant, um, was convinced there was something going on with my thyroid that was causing my infertility. Um, my doctor at the time said there was absolutely nothing wrong with my thyroid. Went to a couple other functional doctors, not functional doctors, regular doctors, and they drew the same blood work and also agreed with her that there was absolutely nothing wrong with me. No, it was just, just one of those things. There's no reason, just was what was. So when I finally got tired, well, my vanity came into it. What really brought it to the, the forefront that something had to change is my hair really started thinning. And that was it for me. I was like, I could deal with being tired all the time. I could deal with feeling like crap all the time, but I could not deal with losing my hair. So I came in, everybody was super nice, um, met with the doctor and Karen. They kind of went through how the program went. Uh, laid out, you know, what what it would entail, how many visits, what the cost was, and then uh, I started coming in and seeing Rich, and um, I started on a whole host of supplements, which was quite an experience of having to, because I've got asthma too, so I already hate taking medicine on a daily basis, and now I have like quadruple the amount of medicine to take, um, and then they wanted me to completely change my diet. And I travel for work, um, so that was really hard. So I actually, um, it ended up being a good timing in my in my career and in the place it was in my projects where I didn't have to travel as much because what I found out was you can't travel in, in the very beginning trying to travel for work and stay on a strict diet of you know, no dairy, no gluten, um, pretty much anything delicious. <laughs> It's pretty much too hard to do while you're traveling. So um, it's been about a year now and I'm on probably half the you know half the supplements I started out a year ago here. Um, my hair has started growing back and started to curl again on part of my head not the other side but that's I think a totally different issue. Um, but you know, my thyroid, you know, they figured out it was my thyroid um, after all. Um, it was an autoimmune issue that was impacting it, so they calmed that down. We figured out that um, through food um, intolerance tests, found out that I couldn't do dairy, which I always thought I was lactose intolerant because I always had issues when I'd eat cheese or something. But no, it was case and it was the whole shebang. <laughs> So anything, all the stuff I craved all the time, all the desserts I ate all the time had to go. They, they're still gone. Um, so I've learned to find foods that don't have dairy. And I've got a great appreciation now for people who have real food allergies and have to read labels all the time. Um, because that's what I do now. I read every label. Um, my food intolerance test came back that I wasn't intolerant to gluten, but I've learned that if I eat gluten, I feel like absolute crap. So it's been a choice for me to keep that out of my diet. Um, so my energy's up. Um, I can clean the house. I can, you know, go make plans with friends and not think about how exhausted I'm going to be now. I just go live and, you know, yeah, I still have my ups and downs days. I think that's probably going to be normal for me, but it's not something I have to stress about and think, well, I can't plan something two days in a row, or I can't clean the house and then go plan to do something because I'll just be too exhausted. So I don't worry about that anymore, but I still struggle with the food. Um, it's I, I'm traveling on a regular basis for work again, um, but I think being a year into it now and understanding exactly what I can eat and that it's, although it's hard, I know the right questions to ask and the foods to get, um, so it's becoming easier, but I think it's, it's a long learning process. Um, ironically enough,
enough, my nephew actually has started having issues. Um, and I actually brought him here um, a couple weeks ago. And so what I, t you know, as he started having issues, the things I said was cut out your gluten, cut out your dairy, um, start taking your vitamin D, um, get on a probiotic, <laughs> and get to see a functional medicine doctor because they're going to listen to you where every other conventional doctor is going to run tests and it's going to be within some narrow range. and it's not going to probably apply to you and they're not going to dig and try to figure it out. You know, that's, that's what impressed me is, is the constant digging to find out what was wrong. And they'll listen. In my family, we have a lot of things most people aren't allergic to or have issues with and we get dismissed a lot. But like one of the things I'm allergic to is amylase. And that's in a lot of y'all supplements. It's in a lot of supplements everywhere. Um, but in the past, I've kind of gotten dismissed with that. Well, Rich tried to give me something that had amylase in it. Sure enough, he's like, just try it. Let's see. I tried it. My, I had an asthma attack that night, and I called him up. Like, I can't take this stuff. And he actually believed me. Whereas, that's not something I'm used to experiencing with conventional doctors, is being listened to and being believed that I know it's odd. I know that's not the way stuff's supposed to happen, but that's what happens to me. So um, that, that's what I've told my nephew is if you want somebody that's going to listen to you, find a functional doctor. They're going to dig. They're going to listen.